get that. What's up? So today I've been editing a ton of the vlogs from the past few days and I've also been trying to complete my university course from Cornell University in uh, marketing strategy because today is the last day to turn everything in and um, I wasn't able to work on it over the weekend or last week. It was just, uh, there was just a lot going on so I didn't get to do it. So procrastinated and now I'm spending my whole day just working on it. Which is fine because I can get it done. But what I want to do for today's vlog is do something unique. So every Monday evening we have what's called a family home evening. It's where the whole family gets together and we share a message. Uh, we talk about our week, we set some goals, we plan out an event, or you know we have a fun activity, or go to the movies, or do something of that nature. It's just all about spending time together as a family and getting things organized for the rest of the week. So today, I wanted to do a family home evening with you guys, with the rest of the Ambrose family, the rest of the Covarubias, Andersons, and all you out there who watch this. You guys are all part of our family as well. So I wanted to have a family home evening with everybody and sort of set it up like you guys are there with us. So that's what I'm going to try to do and hopefully it turns out alright and we all have a great time. So there's going to be a lot of audience participation and in order to do that you're going to have to leave comments below. So as you watch it, you'll be experiencing it with us. I think. Hopefully this works out. Um, if it doesn't work out, well, it was a fun attempt. If it does, we'll probably do it more often because why not? All right, so let's try this out. Before a family home meeting, we're gonna eat some dinner and we still haven't gotten groceries, so we came to Wendy's because I wanna try the Baconator fries. Yeah. Trying to find your sister? Strawberry lemonade, bacon eater fries, and some of the bacon eater. The apple chicken pecan salad. Uh huh. And you got nuggets, fries. some fries. Awesome. And Naomi disappeared. <laughs> the bacon eater fries. Like I mentioned earlier today, it's Monday, it's the evening, and so we're gonna have family home evening. So we get together as a family and do this. <laughs> so what's awesome about this family home evening is we're gonna have you guys participate with us. So to start things off, welcome to family home evening. Welcome to family home evening. Glad you can join us. Yeah, all right. So here's the agenda for family home evening. We start with a welcome, which we just did. And then we have a hymn, a prayer, and then we share something awesome that happened to us last week and something we look forward to this week. After that, we share a scripture, and then we have a message, and then a prayer, and then an activity, and snacks. Which is like the best thing about family home evening, is eating yummy snacks together as a family. Or desserts, or ice cream, and all those nice yummy treats. Which I'm sorry that you won't be able to participate with that. But okay. So here we go. Let's have our hymn, which Rebecca's gonna pick. All right, so we're singing hymn 249 in the hymn book. And it's called, the song is called, Called the Surf. 
Call to know the riches of his blessing. Sons and daughters, children of a king. So we just sang our hymn and had our prayer. And now we're going to share something awesome that happened to us last week. And what we look forward to this week. Seeing my family, seeing my aunts and uncles and cousins, being in wilderness, feeling the spirit 24-7, that was the best thing. For this week, um, I have some pretty big and fun projects at work that I'm working on right now, and I feel confident that I could do them. Looking forward to be able to do that. We went to Disneyland. No, that was a couple weeks ago. Oh. We've been boating. Yeah, you went boating, huh? And that's... That's how you got that big bruise on your face, huh? Okay, what's something awesome that's happening this week? Going at the movies at Kato at Monday. No, Wednesday you're going to the movies. Isn't that so awesome that you get to go to the movie theaters? <laughs> the thing that happened last week that was super awesome was that we went white water rafting, level three. And I had never gone before. It was a great experience and I want to do it again. Also, we went to Wyoming, and I've never been to Wyoming, so that was awesome too. <laughs> and this week, oh, um, what's up? And when they went rafting, I was inside out. Yeah. My cousin Kaylee hooked her up with movie tickets. Yeah, <laughs> Veronica went and watched Inside Out. <laughs> we still haven't seen it. She went with her cousins. Well, her aunts and uncles. Yeah, aunts and uncles. All right, and for this week, what I look forward to is to start uploading videos to my personal YouTube channel, which I used to have a long time ago, but I stopped doing it. But I feel that this week I'm gonna start putting up some videos. So it'll be once a week, so you can check that out. All right, now it's Naomi's turn to share what she loved about last week and what she looks forward to this week. Let's see what happens. Naomi, what Naomi, happened? what did you like about last week? Huh? What was super fun last week? I love Sam. Ah! Super. Oh, yeah? What do you look forward to this week then? Great job. Oh, great. So now it's your turn. Write in the comments below what was awesome that happened to you last week. Just share your great experiences. And then also share with us what you look forward to this week. So, yeah. All right, next we're going to share a scripture. We believe in God. And the eternal Father and and His Son Jesus Christ and and the Holy Ghost. Awesome, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. First, it taught him the discipline of working hard. Second, it taught him not to waste things. These lessons have helped him his whole life. So every day he would get the boards. Have tons of nails in them, right? And then he would pull out all the nails, and then you see in the picture, he has the hammer, and he would hit the nails to make them straight again. And then he would put those in a little pile, and then he put all the boards in a pile too. So then the next day the workers can use all that stuff. And that was a lot of hard work. And so he learned how to work hard, and he also learned that you don't waste things. Isn't that awesome? Good. Veronica, just like when your crayons break, do you throw them in the garbage? No. No, you reuse them. You can still use it even though it's broken, huh? Or what happens when your clothes get too small for you? Give it away to someone else so they can use them? I love Naomi. Or you save them for Naomi, huh? Yeah, it's good, sweetheart. Again, audience participation time. So write down below in the comments some lessons that you've learned about working hard and also not wasting things. That way we can read them and also share them with Veronica and learn from them. So go do that. So now on to our activity which Rebecca's gonna explain and then we're gonna eat our snacks. So I have a brother who's on a mission. He's serving in New York, Utica, New York, which is central New York. And he has been out for a year now. Year, but a year left and his birthday is at the end of this month so what we're gonna do is we're gonna write him some letters email him draw him some pictures gonna draw Uncle Josh some pictures I know you will 
And maybe put some stickers on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mail them off. She loves school. Wish him a happy birthday. So that's the activity we're gonna be doing together is writing some letters to Elder Covarubias. So Josh Covarubias, which is Rebecca's uh, younger brother. So we're gonna write him some letters and send him some birthday wishes. So be sure to leave some birthday wishes for him as well. But before we do that, we're gonna have a prayer and enjoy the snacks as we do the activity. <laughs> Yummy donuts. <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. Rebecca loves donuts. Mm -hmm. And so does Veronica. Hey, Veronica. So right here is our dream board. And these are some of the things we've accomplished so far. I and some... Taco. I already did taco on Disneyland. Yeah, so you got to take Disneyland off. Because we already went to Disneyland. So some of the things that we've accomplished are up here. And some of the things that we want to accomplish. For instance... We want to go to Cancun on vacation and then one day live there as well. I want to get a master's degree and I also want to get 1 million subscribers. I get this awesome YouTube off? plaque. Yeah. And then I also one day want to get my black belt because I'm a red and black belt right now. And this is our dream house that we want or something like it. But if we live in Cancun, we probably won't find something like this. No way. We don't need that if we live in Cancun. And then right here, that's Veronica wanting to ride a horse one day. And then this is Rebecca. She wants a parrot that speaks Spanish. What? No. <laughs> I want to speak Spanish fluently. No. Rebecca wants to speak Spanish fluently. And Rebecca wants two little boys. Two little kids. I don't care if they're boys or not. <laughs> and I think... And I think um, the girls have been doing this to the little boy picture. Not I am a little girl. You want little sisters? <laughs> I don't. I don't think they're. I don't think they want any more siblings. Because <laughs> look what they've been doing to this. One has eyelashes. This has long hair, and this one's all crossed out. But yeah, that's our dream board, vision board. There's so many things we can call this. We should give it an official title. Thank you for joining us and hope you had fun and this is something we do every week It's not always the same thing and every other family does it differently But we invite you to try to try it out with your family and see uh, what happens and we're gonna have Naomi close off the vlog today say bye bye bye, -bye. Say adios bye -bye. Adios bye -bye. Adios, bye -bye. adios.